Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Hope you all had a great day. Hope you all got exactly what you wanted. And, uh, you know what? I hope you all were filled with holiday cheer. And, wait, wait a what time is it? Oh. Well, well, it may be almost midnight, and I really had no idea what to do for a Christmas video. Um, I, I mean, I contemplated uh, going into a bunch of games and wishing everyone Merry Christmas, and I may still upload that as I have some footage lying around for it, but it, it didn't uh, turn out exactly how I wanted. But, um, I figured instead, why not show you guys probably my favorite gift this year this Payday 2 Hoxton mask, and even do um, a short, brief review of it, as well as just kind of briefly talk about what I got for Christmas. So in addition to the normal stuff like socks and whatnot, um, got a bunch of various candies, and even went as far as to get some military style MREs. As you can see, that's caffeinated chocolate pudding. There's some other stuff in there, like chicken breast and whatnot. Um, bunch of very different stuff for Christmas. Even a training sword. Uh, so yeah, I really, I really geeked out this year. Um, also got a Hotline Miami t-shirt, which I'm, I'm stoked about. But today we're going to be talking about this because I planned on doing a, a sort of unboxing review video in the past and the thing is this came in just a regular box surrounded by styrofoam so no point in doing an unboxing of that but I'll go ahead and tell you guys kind of what my thoughts are on this admit pretty damn good replica of the uh, the in-game mask so originally I asked to have this or uh, have this be ordered from overkill which is the uh, they're, they're the developer of payday 2 their official merchandise store, but I guess um, whether it uh, be maybe just forgetting that that was what I wanted or not being able to figure out which site would ship it the quickest, um, my mom decided to order from Amazon instead. So this actually turned out not to be the exact uh, thing that I wanted. However, I think it actually might have even turned out better than the Overkill one, believe it or not, because, uh, so this, this came from Amazon, um, this was, uh, I looked at the price of it, and it appeared to be about, like, $71.19 or something like that, so I'm just gonna, S I'm just gonna shorten that down to $70, which is pretty expensive for a mask, but given that, first of all, it's a, oh, you kind of, it's kind of a almost like a wooden wood resin, uh, or just or just resin like a hard material. It's not quite plastic, not quite wood. Cross in between. Um, I think yeah, the, the site does say it's resin. It uh, and the camera doesn't want to focus in too much. The detail is very nice as well. There's some some grooves. There's a interestingly enough, there's kind of a line going across the center of. The nose right here and all the way down. I'm not sure if that is intentional or not, but it really doesn't take away from the mask at all. It's hardly noticeable. Um, very nice detail on the grin, the, the little grooves throughout, um, some dark coloring around the eyes. Uh, overall, the color looks really good. Um, the one star, as far as I know, the in-game model actually has more than one, but just the fact that that's included uh, to begin with is nice. Um, so yeah, and then going to the back of the mask, uh, this is kind of interesting. The I'm not sure why they went with this uh, style of styrofoam, but this is more of like a rectangle and this is kind of a circle that's sort of cut out a bit. I'm not sure if they did this first and then realized they didn't have enough room, or if this is completely intentional and maybe just has to do with the shape, although that wouldn't make that wouldn't entirely make sense because it's all like it should should be the same dimensions, but I don't know. It really doesn't matter. I mean, this isn't going to be what people are looking at anyway. So um, this is the part that'll go on the back of your head. Again, the uh, the mask from Overkill's official store would have had like a a pad, kind of a more smoother pad instead of this little metal ring 
uh, that these um, straps are on. But uh, again, doesn't really matter. It holds up uh, holds up well. It's pretty easy to adjust. And then as you can see, more uh, not not styrofoam. I I may or may not have called these styrofoam uh, a few like a minute ago, but uh, this is more of like a um, uh, let me think of the word. Okay, so it's probably more of like a just a cheaper foam, kind of like a basic uh, material there. But it, it it makes sure that you you know it doesn't feel uncomfortable in the face. So there's not like just wooden, just a, a hard wood surface against your face. Um, the eye holes here kind of jut out a bit, so these are going to be the only part you really feel. You can kind of feel your um, the uh, kind of like your eyebrows, the uh, the skin under that, and the bone. You can kind of feel that being pressed up against, but it's just slightly. It really doesn't doesn't feel that uncomfortable at all. You'll get used to it very quickly. Uh, so I'm glad they tried to make it as comfortable as possible on the inside. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this on. So this is what it looks like when it's on. As you can see, got a bit of a side profile. It's um, it's pretty firm. Yeah, I had to tighten it a little bit, but once you do it, it's it's pretty. I mean, it still slips off a little bit, but I could probably make it tighter if I wanted to. Uh, this is kind of, kind of what I meant by the whole eye thing. Like I said, it's really not that uncomfortable. Doesn't make much of a difference. Um, the chin juts out a bit, so it it doesn't feel because if you notice, there's no breathing holes, but because there's that room underneath, it doesn't feel uncomfortable to breathe at all. Um, like I can do just fine. And uh, the combination of pretty pretty good comfort wearing it and the look and aesthetic of the mask and just the the quality of it, um, seventy dollars might be a, a a bit much, especially since Overkill's mask was closer to like. 40 I think although that that might have been because that was like a, a cheaper plastic kind of material, but Overall, I think I think this is a pretty pretty good thing to have uh, it There were other ones too like the Dallas and Chains Interestingly enough the Amazon versions not the overkill ones the overkill ones are pretty good looking uh, at least on the site But the Amazon masks actually looked kind of weird the chains the wolf one looked kind of cruddy actually so the Hoxton one might actually look the best out of the um the payday masks that are on Amazon versus uh, Overkill's merchandise store. Again, whether or not those were the same material, I, I'm not sure. I just noticed that they were in the recommended items and it looked like they were from the same uh, kind of same uh, area and whatnot. But yeah, if, if you're into uh, payday and uh, you're into having of just a creepy clown bank robbery mask around to freak your parents out. Um, I think if, if you're willing to dish out $70 for the one I got, like I said, it's cheaper on the Overkill site, but it's more of a plastic material. The Amazon one uh, being harder, but also more uh, durable in quality and very detailed uh, is a, a recommended for me, only if you are... Uh, only if you only if you have a lot of memories with Payday or you really enjoy it, um, maybe you maybe you still play it like I do occasionally. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, this was kind of an odd Christmas video. I had some other stuff in mind, but I just spent the whole day with family and uh, playing online with friends and whatnot. So this consider this just to be kind of a uh, a review video slash Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you enjoyed watching. I hope everybody's Christmas was superb, and I hope everyone had a great day. Thanks for watching.